what a lot of people have been talking about since last night. The calls and the emails have been pouring in to Fox 8 after last night's 10 o'clock news show. It has been incredible as Kathleen <laughs> Cochran was reporting live. Here now is exactly what happened. Yes. Well, the couple was accused of throwing two cats like this one here out of their car and killing them. Now, as part of their sentence, this little guy's having fun, but now as part of their sentence, the couple is going to have to come right here. Oh, and you know, I'd been holding that cat. Everything had been going well until right when we came on the air, but I'm fine. Maybe just a little uh, scratches. You know, Kathleen, an, oh, ac an accurate reporter Kathleen is, but, but the cat was not having fun. We know that. No, the cat uh -uh. was nervous. <laughs> well, yeah, and there it nervous. is today. There's Becky. It's a sweet. It's a sweet. Get a little overwhelmed yeah, last sweet. night. We checked on her today, and she is fine, as is Kathleen. The cat is at the Geauga Humane Society's Rescue Village. She's been there for a year and a half uh, and is up for adoption. Uh, she had been shot by a BB gun, had a broken front leg that was the result of the BBs, and uh, her tail and back end were all torn up. So we had to amputate her tail, put a pin in her front leg. She does limp a little bit. And she seemed friendly enough today. They say Becky is a very special cat who just needs a good home. It was just late. It was 10 o'clock mm -hmm. at night. It was sure. past her bedtime. and. It what, what, you, you weren't crying there, or were you crying? No, no, no. I was not crying. crying. A lot of people thought I was crying. I was instantly laughing, actually, when you saw that. I'm one of those people that, honestly, <laughs> if somebody falls down, I hate to admit it, but I start laughing kind of <laughs> instantly, you know? So I thought it was really funny, but watching that, there's so many things that I would do differently. So many people have written Ouch. in and said, Yeesh. didn't you know what oh. was happening? And I've said I'm not really a cat person, but basically, once I started talking and once I started the story and my voice was projecting and the lights were on, I got into reporter mode. I was concentrating on the story and what I was saying, and I was holding the cat, but I wasn't really conscious of what the noises the cat was making. So when that cat turned, it was like slow motion. You just saw this paw coming right. at you, and now I look at it, and I'm like, lady, drop that cat. Why didn't I drop <laughs> right, the cat? Right, you know, right. so... Oh, Yikes. what an experience. How's your face? Yeah. Did she I had a, a couple you? little cuts. Yeah, there were like three right marks. Here. The cat was not declawed. There were claws on that thing. Oh, so, And she is a very sweet cat, and she has been through a lot. She does not have a tail. So yes. she's been abused, and I think it was the lights, and you know, and I don't really know how to hold a cat properly. Right. I learned. I'm a dog person. I have a dog. So I was kind of rocking it mm. like a baby. It didn't work. That doesn't work. I think it was, Becky was a little nervous. Yeah, Becky the Becky cat. doesn't have a tail, but Becky has a tail to tell now. <laughs> yes, she so, does. So do you for the rest of your life probably you'll be talking now, about. Now, when that right? happened, Kathleen, I mean, we've all been in these embarrassing uh -huh. situations on television. It's a tough situation. What's going through your head? And how do you recover? Because you did remarkably well. And since I'm in the media, I instantly knew what was going to happen. I knew that it would be on YouTube. I knew <laughs> it would be on the radios. It was really like an out-of-body experience, and it was happening. I was like, oh, my goodness. I'm, I'm one of those people. I'm one of those people that right. you laugh at on YouTube. So I knew. So in that moment, while while the story was my my sto actual story was playing, I thought, "All right, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? What am I going to do?" And I just went with it. I just said That's whatever the way popped to do out it. of my That's head, the you way know. To do it. And this, you, you've gotten a nice little thing. Right? Yes, a I got a little cat toy. toy. Isn't that cute? Yeah, they're calling me Catwoman, <laughs> and you know, all kinds of stuff. And you've so. got a blog on this too, yes. right? I do have a blog explaining my whole ordeal. So. <laughs> all right, on myfoxcleveland.com, yes, of course. Yes. Kathleen, thank you. You are welcome. Really, He's doing fine. Yeah. You're okay. You know, yesterday's sun replaced today with showers. Well, let us uh, check back in right now with <laughs> Dick Goddard to see what else Dick is on the okay, way. Okay, it's raining cats and dogs in some places. Yeah, Kathleen, her nickname in the newsroom is Cat. And uh, you, when a cat's growling, you really don't want to shake him. <laughs> it's like shaking a pop bottle, but she came through nice. Uh, a good